Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is, my name is Christ, and welcome you awesome people to another CSGO for you guys. And well, guys, today, many people are asking me for a lot of tips, a lot of my, a lot of my uh, friends have been asking for a lot of tips, because um, they can't improve in their matchmaking rank, and um, they're asking for a series where can I, like, go through some awesome tips to help them improve, and I really help them to improve their game, um, because they've been seeing that I've been really improving lately. So I thought today we'd make a video, guys, well, to make a video for you people to learn, um, uh, basically how to get up in the higher ranks and how to also become a better player in general and I can tell you guys right now if you guys put these tips into your game you guys will definitely see the difference in your games so let's go on here with number one guys it's cross our players and this one here well basically before we actually get into this sorry um what I'm what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be splitting up the series here. There's gonna be a lot of series. So basically this here will be the first episode. Now the first episode is not gonna be too advanced. We're basically just gonna be going through a few things that you need to know in Counter Strike basically, or well, things that, that you need to know. We're not talking about standing still while shooting, but we're talking about cross air placement, a whole lot of stuff like that. So this here won't be too advanced, but this will be pretty stuff that this will be stuff that you need to make sure that you have going on in your game if you wanna be able to use the other tips and become professional. We'll become a better player. So first one is cross-air placement. Now, we're here along here, and we're pushing up here with CT, and, there's a, and they're rushing out along here. Let's just say, for instance, there's a guy there. If we come in the corner, if we have our crosshair, as you see my white little dot, my white little uh, arrows there, well, what are we going to call it? Crosshair. And we're running around here, and we have our crosshair aiming to the floor, and there's a guy standing right there. We have to flick all the way up if we want to be able to get him. And that can waste at least a second, and in this game, every millisecond counts. So, if you have your crosshair here, you may be able to flick up and maybe get like a really lucky headshot, but unless you are really, really lucky, then I don't think you're going to be able to hit it all the time, because look, ready when we're going here, even if we crouch here, we flick up, see the, 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 it ain't really hitting exactly where we want it to go. Unlike, if it was a guy there, and we had a crosshair about up here, I normally have my crosshair at the nose of a person's head, which will be about here, um, because if you shoot at the neck, it's not always a headshot, but I'm not going to go too into that, into that, I'll probably make a separate video for that. But if you're pushing around here with your, with your crosshair about head height, and there's a guy there, it's much easier to one tap him, or it's much easier to spray him down, or, or just do a few bursts and move into your position in the pit, um, and so on and so forth. Now another thing, now, two. This is another. Two, this is another really important tip: is use your surroundings to your advantage. Now, what I mean by that is, let's just say, if you're a person and you really want to be able to get kills to rank up, like, like if you're really thirsty for kills, and you're pushing out here, and there's a guy over there in bedroom. If you're pushing out here, you have no cover. You're in the open. You're an open target. He has the door maybe behind. He he can even go behind there. He can get he can get another one of his teammates to come up. However, I'm in the open. I've got no backup, no cover, nowhere to run. I'm most likely going to get killed before I can even run back into pit or over there. I'm going to come out here and I'm going to die unless I can kill him and there's no one else there. However, if I was using, for instance, the pit for cover, and they pushed out, you know, one tap so I could spray him down, or maybe if I was using the blue crate, I could sit here and hide, wait for them to push, or I could sit here and wait for them. If I can use my surroundings and my crosshair placement, if I can add them two together, you can become a really effective player. Um, so definitely use that. Unless you're on a T side, you can really use it, but you're mostly, but you're most of the time pushing, so you can't really use much of your surroundings to your advantage because you're always pushing on the bomb sites. So make sure you have that going. Now, no, no, number three is also another important tip is use all your nades to your advantage. Now what I mean by that is of course use all your nades. I don't mean throw them randomly when you think there's a guy there. I mean use them properly. I'm not going to go too much into that there. But basically use them all. Flashbangs. You can blind a player and you can get the kill. Smokes. You can smoke off spots when you're on T and you're pushing on a site. You can smoke off the spots um, so you have one less to cover. Um, same with nades. You can take a person's HP down and kill them much more easier. Um, I'm definitely going to be making a few, bit of, few videos in the future about flashbangs, nades and smokes. So definitely go check that out. This video will be up way before them. But if you're watching this video, um, it may or may, may or may not be already up. So go have a look around and have a look if you can find them, or just go look, or just go look up some other tutorials. Uh, I don't mean like how to throw them. I'm talking about how to use them effectively. So that's what you definitely need to learn to use them effectively. If you can use them effectively, it can really become a very big part in your game. If you can add all of those three tips together, you can really become a pretty effective player. 
So our last and final tip today for you ladies and gentlemen is definitely movement. Now this here is one of the key things in Counter-Strike. Now what I see is a lot of players, a lot of pro players even do this. I see even in professional matches sometimes, I see a lot of people and they see a guy there and they just start, you know, they're shifting but they're still moving. Now let's have a look here. If we're regularly just standing and I'm using my spray control, which is just me pulling it down. Now that bullet are landing, that's basically a person's width right there. However, if I'm shifting and I'm moving, it's not very effective, is it? It's still hitting, but even if I was for say instance I'll focus on this and I was moving, you know, I can still hit me targets, but it's a much much like wider place and you're very less likely to hit the head. You may be able to hit the head still, you know, uh, you know, all right there. Same with crouching, if you're crouching and still moving, you can see, yeah, you still, you still hit your targets, I reckon, with the crouching. But, yeah, you still hit them, you still hit them. Yeah, but still, you really shouldn't be, what I like to do whenever I'm trying to kill a person, I like to hold shift and I like to tap A and D. Um, there's not very much of a difference, because just tap them, like lightly, just keep tapping them like this. Don't hold them down like this, because then your recoil goes crazy. But if you're just tapping them, your recoil doesn't change at all. The game thinks you're standing still. So for instance, if I'm standing still ready, we'll go from here. I'm standing still here, this is just me doing my recoil control. See, I'm standing still there, bam, got the same on there. Now I tap A and D here, um, and I've got any ammo. Whoopsies. If I'm tapping A and D, not very much of a difference, is there? They're basically still going in the same place, and I'm basically going to kill a guy. So definitely use the movement, um, just try not to be running and shooting at the same time. I, I just don't like it when I see that, especially in my matches. I see a lot of it in like the MGE and DMG level when you really should not be doing that in high level ranks. Um, and if you if you still do it, learn to one tap so then you can like sort of shift and then tap them out so they can run away. But, but basically just do that guys. Anyway guys, that's going to be the end of today's video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was just the first part of it. This was not very advanced. We were just going through some of the basic stuff that you definitely need to know about in your competitive matches. Now, I even see people in Supreme that don't really use these tips when you, when you definitely should be using these tips in Nova as well. You should definitely be using these tips anywhere. Um, if you can use these tips, you'll definitely start improving. But uh, there'll, there'll definitely be more series in the future, guys. But anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed, definitely leave it a like, guys. And uh, tell me um, what you guys want to see in the next, ep next episode. If there's something that you guys want me to work on. Um, certain tips you guys want me to work on for certain maps or certain plays. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching, guys. Hope you guys have a great day, guys. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day, and bye-bye.